Hey, 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 YouTube world, we are back. I hope you are having a fantabulous beginning to your weekend. Uh, today I wanted to talk about the Alex Smith E60 documentary that was on ESPN yesterday because, man, it is an amazing story. Something that I had never heard before all this is going on. The idea that he was fighting for his life, that his leg had become totally down to just bone and skin and a little bit of tissue and 17 surgeries and taking muscles from other parts of his body and then attaching them to his leg. It, they declared it basically it was A, a life-saving procedure and B, uh, it was a military style injury. They had upgraded it from a sports style injury. This was a military grade injury and he had to recover at, uh, from such um, they were saying he was probably never going to be able to uh, lift his ankle and foot again without the help of, uh, you know, some some extra force, uh, learning to walk with a walker and having his leg in a brace for over a year and surgeries and pain and uh, the idea of this becoming from a sports injury was unfathomable at the time. It's something that we've never really contemplated as we talk about, you know, sporting injuries. This was probably the most gruesome sports in injury we had, we've ever seen. Um, and it's, it's because you, you, we think about, we know people get hurt, we know injuries are a part of the game, but when we're talking about massive human beings, bigger and, and stronger than any that we have seen before, and we talk about hitting each other and knocking each other down, the way that football does, it's it's really a difficult idea to comprehend, especially when you see Alex Smith uh, in that position, in a hospital room with a fever, unconscious for a week, uh, trying to save his life. And I encourage everyone to go watch it. But um, the story itself gives, is something that I had never thought about before. And seeing Alex Smith in that position was really difficult to watch and you, you know you got to refrain your eyes sometimes as you watch things like that because of just how gruesome the injury was and it got me thinking about those sports in injuries and how J.J. Watt and Kareem Jackson um, playing in 1980 would just be out of this world so even Joe Theismann uh, taking a brutal career ending hit from Lawrence Taylor uh, being the the comparison that people look to um, when talking about the Alex Smith injury, but this injury for Alex Smith and what happened with his leg and being infected was something that you know we had never experienced from sports. This was something that happens on the battlefield of wars, and of course that proposes a whole nother set of dilemmas. Where if football is the equivalent to war, it makes sense why parents don't want their kids going off to war or playing football now that we know the long-term implications of doing such things at least better than we did 20 years ago it's a tough situation that everyone finds themselves in um, for Smith his family his kids um, NFL fans who watched this just got a totally new perspective and you know they had wanted at the time to keep it very on the down low and I think they had achieved that uh, I didn't know any of the stuff that was going on with Alex Smith and and his leg and his um, tormented, you know, basically they removed all the muscle and skin from his leg just to prevent the disease from eating up into his, his up, the upper parts of his body where it could spread and then, you know, it's over for him. Um, it's brutal to think about and you know, it was an eye-opening thing. I, I would talk about it more on the podcast. There are other things that we've been going in and out about, but this felt like something that I needed to talk about, you know, kind of right now. And I encourage everyone to go watch the Alex Smith E60 piece. Um, it also talks a good part about his NFL career and, you know, being the number one pick in the draft, being the most talented prospect we had seen since Peyton Manning, um, being replaced mid-season while being successful, not just once, but twice being replaced while having immense success. Um, when we talk about being 7-2 and, and then being replaced by Colin Kaepernick mid-season. 
and then going to Kansas City, making the playoffs four out of five years, having some tough losses, being 6-0 and to start the season the year after Patrick Mahomes was drafted. Uh, people don't forget just how good that team was with uh, Kareem Hunt going into Foxborough and dropping a 40-burger on the Patriots, and then starting the season 6-0 and and then having it fall off and then falling to Marcus Mariota in the wild card that year. And then Mahomes obviously taking over and, you know, changing the game. Um, it proposed an interesting question, though. Who had a bigger impact on the NFLs? It, was it Patrick Mahomes or was it Colin Kaepernick? That was just an interesting thing I was thinking about. And what's fascinating about the... Alex Smith's situation with his career is that then goes to Washington and has this happen and that's like his career is so unique and such an embodiment of everything that is distinctly football and distinctly sport um, other than the, the gruesome injury part that was military style but a lot of questions that can be proposed I encourage everyone to go watch the Alex Smith E60 piece it was fantastic.